it's the start of the year when I hear that song, and I uh, it's uh, it's enough to make you emotional and and, and enjoy going into that stadium and and uh, and fighting for what's good and right. And uh, I uh, I think what our community's been through has been exactly the same thing. And I it, we're uh, we're thankful that we have. Uh, um, a country where you have you have law and you have uh, uh, direction and, and you have quality men that, that try to do as great a job as they can. It's a difficult job. It's a hard job. I uh, I was fortunate to be around Sid and and, uh, and Hiller a bunch and uh, Carl Dabity. I I haven't really spent a lot of time with you and and. Uh, you get a cell ready for me. I'm, uh, I'll come right on over. So, uh, but uh, and Michael Edmund, Edmondson, when I uh, first arrived, he was my uh, security. So, uh, uh, when you're on the front lines there for us, and uh, uh, it's a uh, it concerns your friends that uh, that you're taken care of and protected. I. Uh, I uh, said when I when I came and spoke to to your group, I said, uh, you know, one of the proudest times of my my life was seeing my dad, who was a just for a very brief moment in his uh, in his career, uh, was a uh, Lorraine County Sheriff's deputy, and I thought that was wow, the greatest thing going. And I know Mike, you've heard me say this before, but he wore that flat build. Uh, hat to there and he was six foot five and 320 for a good portion of his life and uh, um, I saw I can remember I'm about nine years old and I'm out in the no school today because in Ohio you could have eight inches of snow and uh, I was out doing going to shovel the walk and that big man went across the uh, uh, the grass or the snow and Said he said Duke, he says uh, try to get her done before I get back and got in his car and I'm just sitting there I'm I'm, I'm holding a shovel like this and I looking at that big sucker and I'm going, man he's the baddest biggest baddest dad there's ever been and I uh, I just want you to know that's what that's what your sons think and so you make sure that you come home you make sure you come home so uh, and if it uh, costs a little bit more money to Whatever you need to get that done, get that done. So we uh, we care for you as people. Um, our community's gone through some 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 change, and uh, and it's uh, and it will eventually be seen very positively. Uh, I think there'll be more compassion. I uh, I drive with uh, an officer that gets me sometimes where I need to go, and pull up to the light the other day and. Um, Nice lady, sitting in her car, rolls the window down, sees the officer and waves. He waves back. Basically what she was saying was, I'm with you, we, we care for you. My, uh, my wife was at a, a gas station. You guys are, I'm sure, experiencing the same things. And she's out pumping gas and up pulls a man and he goes, how's your day? And and she said, very good, and how's yours? And, I, and you know what? That's really a community, in my opinion. It's reaching out and saying, we don't really know what to do exactly, okay? Because there's not any one, two, three, four, five of this. Because if there was, we might get in line and go fix this thing right now, okay? But what they're saying is, is that in their chair, in their seat, where you're at today, where I'm standing today, when I address my team, that have compassion for your man, your fellow man. Have, have, a, have a respect for their opinion and their differences. And uh, you know, I was fortunate to visit a couple of the guys that were still in the hospital. And I want you to know, I, I've never been, I have never been that serving. I would not compare to the, to the two men that I visited. And uh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna tell a story at the, at the risk of boring you um, this is this is after the um, you know Alden Sterling issue, and this this uh, 
this officer says, I'm coming home, babe, be home uh, 6.30 or so. And uh, she calls back, he calls back about 7 o'clock. He says, hey, listen, I found a, a, a woman on the side of the road here, and she's with a child, and, you know, she needs some help. And uh, he says, I'm going to fix her tire for her. So he went to fix her tire. And tire didn't fit. So he had to take his tire out of his car, put it on her car. And then he tied it as tight as he could because it wasn't a good, it was a wobble fit. And he says, listen, I'm going to follow you home. He followed her home, took the tire off of that car, put it in his trunk, put her flat tire back on so that when she called somebody to come get it, she could you know, certainly fix it right there. Um, he got home at 10 o'clock at night. I just want you to know, I've, I don't know that I've ever been that serving. I just, I, I, I do my job. I, I understand the long hours and those things, but those are cho not choices for me. That's my job. I want to do a great job. This has had nothing to do with this job. This had to be with, uh, he's just a serving community uh, guy and, and, and wanted to be a part. And I, uh, his families, I sat there and saw those two families, magnificent families. Gosh. So I, uh, I think this community is, is built on the differences of the people that we have. How wonderful it is that the, 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 the mash of culture, the enjoyment of people is here. And I, uh, I, uh, I have to say, and this is just me, this is my home, and I love living here. I just see it. I just see it so rich.